A new report from the EPA highlighting even more water quality concerns in Benton Harbor. They've been going on for quite some time now, and this document comes more than a month after residents were told to switch over to bottled water. Yeah, so tonight, our Michael Martin lays out what's in that report and more importantly, Michael, what it means for locals there. Doug, Max, good evening. As we've mentioned several times in the past few weeks, the state has already committed to removing and replacing all of the lead water lines in Benton Harbor within the next 18 months. That is great news, say the activists working here on the ground. But now with these new reports, a whole new set of issues aside from the lead issues that state agencies say need to be addressed now. The findings are troubling, but they weren't uh, altogether unexpected. Since at least 2018, community groups in Benton Harbor have been pushing the state to act after they say lead was found in the city's water. In the past month, we've seen movement. Governor Gretchen Whitmer agreed to a plan that will see all lead pipes in Benton Harbor replaced within 18 months. But now a joint report from the EPA and the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy is spotlighting issues at the city's decades old water plant. So we've got kind of two separate but related issues going on, the current lead issue and also these outstanding and longstanding uh, problems at the water plant with, uh, you know, equipment that doesn't work properly and procedures that aren't followed. Multiple violations are outlined in the 23 page report. They have been in six consecutive six month sampling periods where they've exceeded the lead action level and they're required to notify various parties, uh, most importantly, the citizens of Benton Harbor. Um, they did that, but they didn't do a complete job of it. But the city will not have to pay any fines related to the violations. It's the city's responsibility to address these problems. Um, having said that, we understand that the city um, has, has numerous challenges, um, not of their own making. The water plant was built in 1950 for about $2.5 million. It was state of the art at the time. They have a rate base and a taxpayer base that has shrunk to about half the size that it once was uh, in, in the city's heyday. A News Palladium article at the time read, for the first time in Benton Harbor history, the community is absolutely assured of an adequate, constant and unfailing supply of water from one of the greatest natural reservoirs in the world. You have a water system um, that's designed to, um, you know, to service twice as many people as it does now. So the funding to, to, to for the upkeep on that plant is not coming in as it should. In fact, Benton Harbor's population hit its peak in the 1960s with a little over 19,000 residents at the time. In 2020, that number was down to just under 10,000. We really appreciate the city's approach to this. Uh, you know, they are not being defensive about it. They acknowledge the problems. They acknowledge the need for, for assistance, uh, you know, and funding and, and other areas to help address those. And we stand ready to do that. So with this new report in order from the EPA this week, the city now has 120 days to either fix these problems within the water plant or to issue a plan what they are planning to do to eventually over time address those issues to the EPA. We'll bring you updates as we get closer to that deadline. For now, though, live in Benton Harbor, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News.